So this year, a quick tour to reading ebooks on Windows Mobile Phone. The launcher for applications on Windows Mobile is the Programs menu. So if I open that and scroll to the ebook reader that I use on my phone, which is called eReader, you tap that and it launches the app, and that should open the last book that I was reading at the last page that I was at. And then I can start reading. Uh, when I want to move on to a page, I just tap anywhere near the bottom half of a page and that will take me on to the next one and then keep going so on if I'm feeling tired or I just want the writing a bit clearer I can tweak any of the settings, I can change colours or fonts or now what I'm going to do is just change the size and make the writing a little bit bigger and then tap on done and it redraws the page using the new font size and again, either tap near the bottom of the screen or on my PDA I have a little uh, button, an external press button that I can use to flick through pages. But if I've had enough of this one for now, I can close it and that will take me back to my library, uh, which is all the books that I've currently got a copy of on my phone. And if I look through there for something I feel like reading, um, what about this one? Uh, a book by Scott Adams. If I tap open, what it will do is it will take me to the last page that I was at, except I've actually finished this book. But this is good, because this is where it gets interesting. If I'm in the mood for something similar, I can go online and browse for other books by the same author. It takes a while to search the online catalogue, but what will happen is it will give me a list and you can see at the top of the list is the book that I've already got and the tick next which shows that I've bought it before and it's shown me some of the search matches uh, if I start with... actually no, if I start with this this one which is one of his newer books if I click go it will download a copy of the cover, the picture on the front cover and some of the text from the back cover actually this one looks a bit expensive so I won't go with this one um, if I go back to the search results, try the next one down. Um, ah, I can see this is the sequel to the book that I've just finished, so I'll buy this. Uh, I enter my password to prove that it's really me. And then tap on login and this will verify my password with their server. Uh, I actually do have a, a voucher for this, so I'll stick this code in now hit next and it will verify that and work out the price after the code and this is my last chance to uh, change my mind here we go $3.96 yep that's fine so I'll tap on OK and this will build my card now so this can take a little while here we go it's ready to be downloaded uh, I've actually got an unlimited data plan with T-Mobile at the moment so I'm happy to download it over my 3G connection just tell it where to save it um, and over a 3G signal books take no time at all to download uh, give it a few seconds and there we go and here it should be there it is in my library uh, ready for me to read and the point is that I haven't needed to leave the application um, I can have done this anywhere, I can do it on the train, in a cafe, whenever I fancy something new I can browse the catalogue, it helps me find something that I might, and I can start reading it straight away, or if I just skip through this copyright stuff at the beginning of the book, here we go, and here we go, the start of the book, but, so I've just bought, I haven't needed to put in too many details, and my credit card will get billed using the details they've got on my account. But I won't read this now, so I'll just close this. You don't have to go shopping just based on searches of books you've already got. You can search across or browse their whole catalogue. If I go into Buy Books, it takes you into a page where you can either start a search on author or title or keyword, or based on some categories. Um, so, for example, bestsellers, I can see the list of their most popular books at the moment.
and again any books that I've already got should have a tick next to it and if I'm interested to find out a bit more about a book I can download a copy of the image of the front cover and the text on the back cover to get an idea of whether or not I'm interested in it. Hmm, don't think so. But if I go back to my books now, I tend to carry quite a few books with me because because it will save the position I'm at in every book. At any one time I'll be in the middle of four or five books because I know when I open it it will take me back to where I was at. And this means I can read whatever I'm in the mood for at the time without worrying about losing my place. And that's pretty much it. That is e-reader on Windows Mobile.